founder and host of the Young Turks. He also ran against President Biden for the Democratic presidential nomination this year, saying this exact thing, which is Biden's in trouble. Cenk, good to see you. Good to see you, Dan. So what happens now? I mean, are Democrats just going to sleepwalk into this and just Biden's going to get destroyed in the election? Yeah, I mean, what is it now? Over six months ago, I said in a desperation move, I'm going to go in the race because I tried to get other people into the race. How are they not bringing the governors into the race? Governor Newsom, Governor Whitmer, Shapiro, a lot of whom are very, very popular. And they're going to go with a guy who's losing in all these swing states. But Dan, the reason why my hair was on fire so long ago, and before that on the Young Turks, I started a petition to try to get Biden out of the race. Not because I dislike Biden. This is not an old progressive versus establishment. It's not a Gaza thing. It's not any of that. It's that if you look at the underlying numbers with young people, and now after Gaza, that's much worse, Latinos, black voters, all across the board, except older white voters now Biden is picking up steam with. But outside of that category, the underlying numbers were always terrible. So that was point number one why I ran point and, and to try to push him out. And I always said, of course, I'm not going to win. <laughs> I would just need to bring other people in. Why is everyone not doing what I'm doing? And so the second reason is whenever you talk to any real people, they say he's just too old. So, they all say. So, so, what, so do you think there's a real shot that at some point in July, Democrats will look at the latest, there'll be some new round of polls that come out in the battleground states. They'll have Trump up by close to double digits in a lot of them. You think there's any chance Democrats say, you know what, no mas, we yeah, gotta absolutely. go with somebody? You do, you think yeah. that's a real possibility? So, look, there's two <clears throat> things that are going on that are huge that I don't think people are noticing enough. Number one, David Axelrod and James Carville keep going on television and saying, hey, this is not a strong candidate. We really need someone else. Who does David Axelrod speak for? Barack Obama. Who does James Carville speak for? Bill Clinton. So the Clintons and the Obamas have been sending Axelrod, Carville, and anyone else they can get their hands on, on TV going, turn around, turn around. We're going straight into the iceberg. And no one's noticing that Obama and Clinton are doing this. Carville and Axelrod do not go on television and make these statements unless they've cleared it with the Clintons and the Obamas. So they're... The, the leaders of the Democratic Party, and I know, here's the second layer of it, and I know personally that there are people inside the administration, very close to Biden, and I would say almost all of them, that are saying, Joe, you got to go. But I think the number one problem, there's two problems. The overwhelming problem is Joe Biden. He's 81 years old. He's stubborn. And sometimes when people get older, they get more stubborn. He's dug in, even though everyone's trying to get him out. Because they can see this. We're all professionals at this, Dan. We can see the numbers. We can see the underlying numbers. We, you're losing Nevada by 12 points. You have no chance of winning this election. Election, As you pointed out, he won by four and a half on the popular vote yeah. last time and barely won. He only won by 43,000 votes in three swing states. He, he's got to so, win but by will at Democrats least have five. The, I, I don't think Democrats are going to have the courage to do it before the convention, so, real quick. Yeah. At, at this point, Dan, it's not up to the Democrats. If they all got together and said, you got to get out, and Joe doesn't it, have to get right. out. It's about Barack Obama and Jill Biden and maybe Hunter Biden sitting down with him and saying, it's time. I believe that Barack Obama has done that over two lunches already. Really? So the only person left that he would listen to is Dr. Jill Biden. Yep. And I don't believe that she wants to get out of the race. I think she thinks I'm a pivotal part of this administration and I wanna keep going. If Jill Biden changed her mind, that would be the one thing that would make a difference. All right, Cenk, stick around. I know you're gonna to wanna to weigh in on this, uh, this next topic. All right, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.